for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys new Dollar Tree home decor DIYs. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first home decor item I wanted to make was a cork wall sconce and the supplies that I needed from the Dollar Tree were this light here, it's just battery operated. And then I had these circular cork trivets. They were originally from Ikea, but I got them at the thrift store for just 50 cents a piece. And so the first thing I'm doing, I'm just measuring how long it is across this cork trivet. And then taking my pen, I'm just marking the center point of the cork trivet so I know where I'm going to need to put the center of the back of this light that came from the Dollar Tree. But first I needed to measure the backing of that piece because that will tell me where the back actually needs to go. So it's right in the center. One thing that I really wasn't crazy for was the color of the plasticky gold. I wanted it to be more metallic brass looking. So I'm just taking some painter's tape and I'm covering all of the parts that don't show the gold plastic. And that will give me a nice clean coverage on everything else. For the gold spray paint that I chose, I'm using this one by Krylon in metallic gold. It is my all time favorite. With the light drying outside, I just wanted to kind of score the cork trivet using this tool I recently picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I placed just like something hollow underneath so that way it would catch all of the cork pieces inside of there and it made it easy to cut through it. I was excited to find this tool from the Dollar Tree because I couldn't really use my drill on a material like cork. So this was a really handy thing to have for this project. And once that centerpiece was removed, I then took the light that was now dried and I placed it inside of that hole there. Now, one kind of nice thing was because the fit was very tight, I didn't end up having to use any adhesive to kind of connect the cork to the light, which was nice. And then I just took some 3M tape and placed it on the back and this is how it turned out. The second home decor piece I was really needing was a doorstop and I wanted it to be not just like your typical doorstop, which they do sell at the Dollar Tree, I wanted it to be a little bit more chic. So I picked up some of these black rocks from the Dollar Tree as well as one of these cylinder gift boxes. They're like in the gift section and I'm taking supplies that I already had to create this project. So the first thing I did was I put all of the rocks from that bag into this gift box and I just wanted to make sure that it would actually stop my door, which it did. And then I had this leather spray paint as well as this old thrifted belt as well as my favorite thing to use lately, which is leather repair tape. I just gave the canister one quick coat of that satin leather spray paint and now I'm just measuring the top piece of the canister to know where I'm going to need to make my markings to put our little handle. and I took that leather belt and just folded it in half and I'm taking that tool from the first project and making my markings to know where I'm going to need to place my handle. And when I had enough space removed, I was able to put that um, old leather belt through as our handle. And with our handle in place, I just made sure to glue those pieces together as well as glue the top and the bottom piece of our doorstop together. And then just using a little bit of force, I'm placing the top into the bottom. And if you didn't wanna use the leather repair tape, they have tons and tons and tons of contact paper you can use from the Dollar Tree for just $1. But because I already had this leather repair tape on hand, I decided to wrap this canister with that. And with the rest of it completed, it's just time to take that leather repair tape and wrap it around.
For the third DIY home decor project I wanted to make was a picture ledge wall shelf. And you guys have actually seen me use this agate piece before and I'm gonna use it in a different way this time. So the first thing I did was again, remove that agate piece. And I also picked up some of the scrap wood that the Dollar Tree has been selling recently. You can obviously get more if you go to Home Depot, but this was the perfect size. So this is really nice because it is an all Dollar Tree DIY. I first just wanted to take my orbital sander to just kind of get off all of the rough spots on the wood and to make sure that those prongs were nice and even and smooth. And afterwards, I just used some matte acrylic paint and I just gave it a once over on both sides as well as I picked off one of these little hanging tools from a picture that I was no longer using and that is how I'm going to attach everything together. The first thing I wanted to do was just figure out how I was going to get it to attach to the wall. You could probably use 3M tape if you really wanted to, but I wanted a more secure hold on my wall. So I just took some crazy glue and I attached that hanging piece in between those two prongs on the back so it would have something to attach onto the wall, as well as adding some super glue to those prongs so the shelf would be nice and secure. For the next project, I really wanted to make a distressed book bundle and the Dollar Tree has a variety of different books. However, I would not recommend doing this project on books that you might be reading frequently and I'll tell you why in a second. I have to give credit to Sherry from Canterbury Cottage. She actually duped this. It was $32 at Magnolia Home. And so I just followed her tutorial to a T. She's so cute. Please go subscribe to her channel. You will really love what she comes up with. She's incredibly creative. So I ended up just like she did, I took three soft cover books and one hard back book. And basically what we have to do is just manhandle these books and just remove that binding and that cover part to protect the book because we just want to expose the spine of the book, which can be really beautiful. It gives a very vintage kind of rustic look. So if you're into that kind of style, I think you would really enjoy this DIY. And then I just kept repeating that process until all four books were done. Sometimes um, there was like wording on the front or back page, so I just removed those so it was all really like nice and monochromatic. And then I ended up taking my scissors on sections that were just a little bit too rustic for me and just kind of cleaning them up a bit. And then afterwards, I just took some twine that I had on hand. They do sell twine at the Dollar Tree if you didn't have some on hand, and I just wrapped it around the books. And then once I tied it in a bow, I just cut off the excess and this is how they turned out. I have been really wanting an Ikebana vase and I can never seem to find one. And what inspired this DIY was I found these dried florals at the Dollar Tree. And then I found this incense holder. And basically what an Ikebana vase is, is it is something that is very low profile and really allows your florals to be more sculptural because you can see more of them. Now, typically your florals will be real and there will be water in a frog or in that base part. But because this is not that, I decided to use it for my dried florals instead, which makes it perfect for fall. For the sixth home decor item that I really wanted to create using Dollar Tree products is a just simple canvas pillow. I picked up two of these canvas bags from the Dollar Tree. They're each $1 a piece. So the first thing that I needed to do was just remove those handles. So I just took my fabric scissors. I am obsessed with my fabric scissors. They are from Amazon. I think they're about $16. I will link them below for you guys. And also just to show you guys just like a different option, if you wanted to take some of the rope that the Dollar Tree sells and make like a fun design, like an abstract design on the face of your pillow, I don't end up doing it because again, I have very simple style, but just an idea. And with the handles removed, I just want to now cut out that center graphic that says, you're the cat's meow. Nothing against the graphic, but again, I have very simple, very minimal style, so I just wanted to keep it really simple and really easy. 
and I'm leaving about a quarter inch all around that perimeter so each side has something to attach to. And now with that graphic removed, you should have two things that look similar to this. And I'm just going to use some hot glue because personally, I love a good no-sew pillow. Sometimes it just makes things a little bit easier. And what's really nice about this project is the seams were kind of already created when they made the bags in the first place with the exception of the top. So I'm gonna start off by doing the bottom first and just adding a bit of glue on the corners. And then I'm gonna place glue all along the bottom side, just working in about one to two inch sections. And after applying that same process on the left and right side for the top, I am just going to fold that in rather than cut it off. And with that top piece folded in, I'm going to take my 18 by 18 and fill this pillow. This pillow ends up being about a 15 by 15, so it's rather small. It's on the smaller side, but it's the perfect size for my office chair. For the next project, you will either totally get it or you won't at all. Either way, it's totally okay, but I really wanted some sculptural decor for my bookshelf. And I saw this back massager and I was like, this literally looks like so many of the things I see at high-end stores, but they're selling it for like $200. The first thing I did was I gave it two coats of this white flat spray paint and I let that dry overnight before I added the second type of spray paint, which is a stone spray paint. I love using stone spray paint. I think it makes everything look ceramic and high end. And I will link the one that I used below. It is on the pricier side, but I think it is worth the money if you intend to do a lot of DIY projects. For the next DIY home decor project, I wanted to make a cork vase. Cork vases can be incredibly expensive, and oftentimes what I find the issue is with things from the Dollar Tree is that they always feel really miniature. So I'm always looking for ways to make bigger pieces because I really believe sometimes like a lot of bigger pieces are what makes it feel more expensive. So I took two of the cylinder vases from the Dollar Tree, the ones that everybody DIYs with, and I took some hot glue and some super glue, and I attached the bottom together. I personally like to leave the stickers on the bottoms of those because I feel like they take adhesive so much better than the actual glass. Then I just took my fabric tape measure and I measured around to see how much of this cork sheet I was going to need. This cork sheet also comes from the Dollar Tree and it is one of my all-time favorite items to work with from the Dollar Tree. So if you ever see it in your store and you love cork in your house, make sure you pick some up. So after I knew how much of the cork I was actually going to need, I just made a marking and then I took something straight. You could take a ruler, I just used the side of a book and I just made a straight line so I knew exactly where I needed to cut. One thing that I found to be incredibly helpful when you are applying the cork to the glass is you wanna make sure that you are applying it straight and even. And I think when you keep the glass from kind of rolling away, it kind of gives you that ability to line everything up really well and press down on things so there's no bubbles because you can't really do anything about it if you do get a bubble. So I would say placing a book or something heavy so your item just doesn't kind of like roll away and gives you another hand to work with um, to make sure that the cork applies nice and even. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and tell me down in the comments which project this week was your favorite. I hope I see you guys next Sunday and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye.